Welcome back to Movie Masters. I'm going to tell you a very interesting story today about how I was arrested for flying this drone. Yes, the Mini 3 Pro, the mini series in which you don't need a license or approval to fly. I was still arrested. So let me explain. I was flying below the maximum height that you could fly. I was flying in an area that you were allowed to fly in. So as far as I thought, I wasn't breaking any rules. So let me tell you how it all started. One of the ways that I earn money is through Shutterstock. If you don't know what Shutterstock is, it's a stock photo or video website where you can upload your pictures, videos, vector files, and you can get paid when other people buy your content. Now, part of that website, they have a thing called the shot list. And with the shot list, they tell you each month what they want, what people are looking for. So for this month of July, they had wanted pride pictures and I was living in Berlin at the time and they had the CSD parade on the Christopher Street Day, which is kind of a, a pride day. So I went out with my drone and to take photos of, of, this, of this festival. So I'm standing in Berlin just near the Victory Column, which where the parade runs through. I'm flying my drone. Um, about 70 meters high, I believe. High enough that you can't recognize the people, because that's one of the things you're not meant to do, fly over people, or at least if you do, they're not meant to be recognizable. So I just wanted to capture a nice shot of the parade. I'm flying my drone, and I get a tap on the shoulder. I look over, and it's some kid, and he's like, oh, that's, that's really cool. Like, he's looking at the screen on my drone, and you know, I'm looking up in the air flying it. And I'm like, yeah, yeah it's, it's cool. You know, I'm sure any of you drone owners, you probably get that a lot. You bring out your drone and then you know, you're flying and then people go, wow, wow. So I go back to flying my drone and then about another two minutes later, I get another tap of the shoulder. This time I don't even look over. I'm just like, yeah, drone, cool. <laughs> I hear this voice in German and it's one of those voices that you don't want to hear. And I, I immediately, I, I turned to my left and I saw the police the police eye and I was a bit like ooh but at the same time I knew or at least I thought I wasn't doing anything wrong the police officer just said stop bring your drone back down and I'm like okay so I, I, I land the drone safely the police officer says to me you're not allowed to do that and I said are you sure because this is under 249 grams I'm the area that I'm flying it in I don't need permission for I'm not flying it above 120 meters like what is what's the issue they're like look come with us and they took me away down the road into like an interrogation van and the police officer went to say look do you have do you have like a permit to do this and to be honest the police officer even said to me look drones are such new things we're not even sure of the laws because they keep changing them and I'm like okay and I said look I'm just a I'm just a tourist I'm I'm here flying my drone I uh, take photos for the stock website and so on and so on and I didn't think I was doing anything wrong doing anyone harm the police officer goes off and talks to their partner trying to figure out what law I had actually broken you know I'm kind of just sitting there going hmm I hope this isn't too bad. I wasn't too worried, to be honest. The, the German police are pretty nice, as long as you're reasonable with them and you're not talking back or anything like that. And look, they could tell I was from a different country. I, you know, I didn't think, they didn't think I was doing anything malicious and I wasn't. So after about two hours of being in this van, the police officer comes back to me and finally says what the issue was was that the parade I was filming was not registered as a festival or a parade, it was registered as a demonstration. So like a protest. And this is something that happens a lot in Berlin because there's a lot of these street festivals that are kind of illegal protests. They're just big parties. And to get around the laws of them stopping them from doing it, they register these street parties as basically demonstrations. Apparently, you're not allowed to fly over a demonstration. This was what I had been now arrested for. So I asked questions a little bit more, I gave them my details, and long story short, they eventually let me go with a warning of sorts. And they did say, look, 
this might come back to you or it might not. Let's just see. And I was like, okay. A year goes past and I don't hear anything. And then the next year I officially move to Berlin, register. And when I go to do my visa appointment, I get this thing pulled up. And so I've, I've filled out all my forms and everything. Just as I'm about to get my visa stamped and approved, they say to me, oh, we see on your record here that you have broken aviation law. You know, it sounds really bad. They you know, dig into the system a bit more and they're like, but it seems to be only a warning. So we'll grant your visa, but you know, if anything else comes of this, we may re revoke it. So I certainly learned my lesson the hard way. I didn't end up hearing anything back about it. I did get a letter in the mail asking me, did I do this? Uh, but it also said you don't have to respond. And I talked to a few of my German friends and they just said, look, just ignore it. And I did, and nothing ever came of it. But it was a very scary warning that I could get arrested for flying my Mini 3 Pro, a drone that we thought we could fly almost everywhere within reason. Be sure to check the laws of the country you're flying in because every country has different laws and different regulations. Anyway, I hope one of you have found this story interesting, helpful or entertaining. If you have a similar story where, or maybe you've been in trouble for flying a drone where you thought you were completely in the right, leave a comment below, tell us your story and did anything else come of it. Anyway, smash that like and subscribe button and we'll see you next time.